Four black women and girls are killed every day. You actually heard me right there. I said every day. This is obviously a crisis, but oftentimes it doesn't get the attention it deserves. I don't. <laughs> Every five and a half hours, a black woman or a girl is killed. This is the story of Jasmine James. And is in jail, accused of running over a woman and beating her to death with a metal pole. The police say the woman had been walking along 9700 block of Bissonette early yesterday morning. And Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf is live tonight with the latest on this case. Matthew. Well, Jonathan, this is just tragic. There's actually a video of what happened posted on Facebook. We must warn you, this video is disturbing. New disturbing video posted to Facebook of a vicious attack on Bissonette. A man seen standing outside a crashed car, brutally beating a woman to death with a metal pole. Police identifying the woman killed as 26-year-old Jasmine James. 22-year-old Shadozi Amadi arrested Friday, charged with murder. Witnesses tell HPD Jasmine had been walking along the sidewalk of Bissonette early Thursday morning when Shadozi in a white car intentionally ran her over. A witness recording as Shadozi then strikes Jasmine's head several times. A memorial of flowers, candles, and stuffed animals now sits at the street corner. Loved ones there Friday honoring Jasmine's life. Family members were too upset to speak with us on camera today, but they did say that they appreciate everyone's prayers. The suspect is in jail tonight with a $2 million bond. Reporting live. The story has not garnered a lot of attention and much is still unknown about the intentions of Amadi or the relationship that he had with Jasmine, if there was any. Um, speculators on social media have stated Jasmine was a prostitute, but there is nothing available to show that that is true. Amadi was arrested and charged with murder. His bail was set at $2 million at the request of the district county attorney. The attorney stated the repeated and violent nature of this incident indicates that the defendant poses a threat to the community and public safety everywhere if released. If convicted, Amadi faces between 5 and 99 years to life in prison. Disturbing footage of the crime scene surfaced online. It shows Amadi standing over Jasmine repeatedly hitting her with a metal pipe. I got a hold of that footage and I have edited the most violent parts out. I want you to notice how no bystander intervenes and no one called the police until after he walks away from the vehicle. It's quite possible she was still alive. If you are interested in looking at the full video, it can be found on World Star. This nigga is tripping, y'all. This nigga ran the bitch over, bro. Looks like he's gonna spear this bitch. What the fuck? This nigga down there, this nigga killed the bitch, bro. Look at him, look at him. I can't believe, dog. This nigga, bro, I believe now, this nigga tripping. And he done fucked his car up, fucked his life up. Regardless of what happened between these two, 
he is not justified in taking her life. Too often within the black community, black males believe that they have the right to take the lives of women and children with no consequences. I hope this man gets life in prison without the possibility of parole and may Jasmine James rest in peace.